Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today it is a plan with me video, as you can see by the title. I haven't been showing up with my planning the last four, five, six months. Yeah, I've been gone quite a while, but I'm glad you're here because we're bringing it back. I've got a little drink. This is, it's called Schwitzel. Schwitzel. It's basically ginger, apple cider vinegar, a little bit, like lime or lemon juice, and then soda water. And it's actually really yum. It's like a little soda. Anyway, grab a drink and let's look at my plan. If you don't know me, my name is Zoe. I'm 22. I live in Sydney, Australia. I do plan with me's on Notion. However, I actually plan my life on the Notes app on the iPhone. It looks so chaotic, I know, but it works for me. And I literally put in everything in the Notes app. But I think for like high level goals, I like Notion. And you can get Notion as an app on your phone. And then you can sync the two. And so you can be constantly checking that too. So for me, using Notion isn't as like habitual as using the notes app. This is like a recap of March slash getting into April. So April is actually the month that I started my YouTube channel last year. So that's crazy, it's come around quick. So wow, hi, thanks for letting me be on here for a year. <laughs> Except I did have a couple months break in like September. So what I like to use on Notion is like monthly check-ins, monthly goals, long-term goals, and then a bit of like YouTube analytics tracking. I also do a little bit of like book tracking, like when I'm, what books I want to read, what books I have read, that kind of thing. And then, yeah, my Notion definitely needs some work because I definitely don't know how to use it the most effectively because it's not my platform of choice and I haven't used it in so long. I want to let go of like the tight structure I had on it like I'll show you as I get into it but I was being quite like do something like three four five times a week and it feels a bit too much like I want a bit more flexibility for myself anyway let's get into it let's start with in the goals section you click through and I've got these little quotes that are cute nothing changes if nothing changes and don't look back we're not going that way just little reminders they're fun quotes and then we can do our monthly check-in so this is sort of i had august september and now we are in april it's interesting seeing what happened in september i was wanting to feel peaceful strength training socializing and productivity i traveled in august what was the highlight of my march i feel like i need to go back through my photos to find that because i feel like Every week goes by and I totally forget what happened the week before. I went to the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> I spent a lot of time with friends. I went out for dinner a lot. I was super sick and then I got better and I had a lot of work stuff going on. I'm going to make my highlight that I started seeing a new doctor. She's kind of like an alternative kind of doctor. And it's basically when I go, I just feel like it is like fast-tracked therapy. Anyway, I think it's been improving my mental health a lot. So I'm gonna say finding my new doctor. How do I wanna feel this month? I think balanced. I am actually, I'm planning to be filming like three YouTube videos or uploading three YouTube videos a week. So I'm gonna try and be balancing that, balancing catching up with friends, balancing work balancing just life admin so I think balance is going to be a very good um, emotion for or experience for the month of April what would make me over the moon so I've really been trying to put a lot of like thought and effort into my YouTube so I really would love to start sort of getting close to a thousand subscribers I feel like that'd be really cool so I'm gonna make what would make me over the moon is probably like 800 subscribers so if you haven't already please subscribe thank you <laughs> what is one thing that i will regret not doing this month say if i'm not exercising a decent proportion of the days of the week i think i will feel a little sad about that because i'm really trying to 
exercise like three or four minimum a week just to grow muscle. Like I'm really trying to build my strength. Not working out enough. How will I take care of myself? I want to take care of myself by reading and finding a healthy escape. So maybe I'll say healthy escapes, e.g. reading. So that's April slash March. So if we go back to our goals and we go monthly goals. So April. So see what I mean when I say like September, I was like exercise five times a week. I'm like, it's just too much. Cook three nights a week. Like, cause then I felt disappointed when I wouldn't achieve that. So I think it should be a smaller, easier, looser goal. And then I don't feel as disappointed. April. I want to finish books that I have started. I have two books that I have on the go and I have been procrastinating them. So I really want to finish those books. I think three or four goals will be good for April. You don't need to go too crazy. Upload three YouTube videos a week. Move my body most days of the week. I feel like that's a very generic goal that still says what I want it to say, but not in an aggressive kind of like tone. I like that. Let's keep it simple. Oh, and I'm really struggling with commitments that I'm making sometimes. For the most part, I'm good at, you know, sticking to them. But I do find myself sometimes, like, becoming too tired and feeling overcommitted and then feeling guilty that I don't want to go to that thing. So I need to find a good way to kind of balance that. Maybe don't overcommit myself and my schedule. That's a good four goals. So then if we go back our long-term goals so the progress tab on my long-term goals needs some tweaking but these are my long-term goals make two new friends grow and define muscle and then also reduce pain and then 1,000 subscribers so I'll keep you updated in May how those are going so now let's go back to home and I've got content calendar content tracker books so, if we go into the content tracker, and now we're at March. So, we're at 670. Watch time. And then views. We're at 59,269. That is for March 2024. Then if we go to monthly goals, so I had written some subscriber goals, but we didn't get very far. Subscriber was 800. View goal, maybe 90,000, and we'll see how we go. To be continued. In our books section, I still haven't read these. So instead of 23 books in 2023, I'm going to say to read list. Harry Potter, The Loss of the Stone. And yeah, I know, I haven't actually read Harry Potter. Didn't really have a childhood. <laughs> no, we just didn't, I don't know. Just never became something we read. And then also Happy Place. So those are the books. And then as for the other personal growth sections, I probably don't use this too much. I use the content calendar to plan out um, all the videos I'm gonna post over the next couple months. But yeah, those are the main things I use. As you can see, my Notion does need some work, but everything's a work in progress, so that's fine. All I'm trying to do is I'm hoping to inspire you guys to schedule things out, become a bit more goal-oriented. I know, like, financial goals I've been thinking a lot about recently. Where I want to be in five years' time, where I could be in ten years' time, two years' time. I saw a financial advisor maybe a month ago, and that was sort of to figure out, you know, what's the best strategy to buying property and just that kind of thing. So that's sort of in the back burner of my head, but I haven't really put that on paper or that type of thing. So just good to be planning and having goals and having places that you're trying to get to. For me personally, I need structure 
and I almost need to see where I'm gonna get and what is tricky about that headspace sometimes is not everything is in your control so kind of have to just accept that that you can plan as much as you want but things don't always go to plan so <laughs> that being said that shouldn't be a deterrent to goal setting so that's my spiel anyway thank you for watching hope this was inspiring or at least interesting thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel and i will see you all in the next video bye